like to welcome you all to the ceremony room at Shaw House today and a very special and very warm welcome to our bride and groom. Nick and Sarah would like to thank you all for coming here today to celebrate the beginning of their new life together as a married couple. It means a great deal to them that you can be here today to share with them in their happiness and to witness their marriage vows. The bride will now be presented in marriage and so I ask Vincenzo, who gives Sarah to be married to Nick? Yes. Thank you very much. Marriage requires devotion, the ability to listen, the wisdom to know when we are wrong and the humility to put things right. Above all, it requires unquestioning love. Nick and Sarah, you are each other's first consideration, first priority and first responsibility. Never take each other for granted and never be too old to show affection. Take pride in each other's achievements and support and encourage one another. Build on your mutual respect and admiration. Laugh often and love one another always. Remember that love is the comfort and companionship that only two people who are the best of friends can truly enjoy. The ceremony room at Shaw House in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. We are gathered in here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Nicholas Benjamin S is it and Sarah. If any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, he or she should declare it now. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick, do you promise to share your life with Sarah, to love, support and comfort her, whatever the future may bring? I do. Thank you. And Sarah, do you promise to share your life with Nick, to love, support and comfort him, whatever the future may bring? I do. Now, before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you both of the solemn and binding character the vows you are about to make. Marriage means the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. And I'm now going to ask each of you in turn to declare that there are no legal reasons why you may not be married to each other. Are you, Nicholas Benjamin, free lawfully to marry Sarah and are you, Sarah, free lawfully to marry Nicholas Benjamin? I am. The vows that Nick and Sarah make to each other today are twofold in nature. In the first, we ensure there is no legal impediment to their marriage. And in the second, they will solemnly promise to take each other as partners for life. I, Nicholas Benjamin. I, Nicholas Benjamin. Take you, Sarah. Take you, Sarah. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Sarah. I, Sarah. Take you, Nicholas Benjamin. Take you, Nicholas Benjamin. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Thank you very much. Would you like to take Sarah's ring and place it on her left hand and holding it there if you'd repeat after me. As I put this ring on your finger. As I put this ring on your finger. My wish is that our love. My wish is that our love. Will continue to grow and strengthen. Will continue to grow and strengthen. And that we may always laugh. And that we may always laugh. Through life together. Through life together. And then Sarah, if you'd like to take the ring. And place it in his left hand. As I put this ring on your finger. As I put this ring on your finger. My wish is that our love. My wish is our love. We'll continue to grow and strengthen. We continue to grow and strengthen. And that we may always love. And we might always love. Always love. Through life together. <laughs> through life together. So Nick and Sarah, you have both made the declarations prescribed by law and have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses. We all hope that the feelings of love and commitment that you have expressed here today will continue to strengthen and deepen throughout the coming years. And it now gives me very great pleasure to declare you are husband and wife. Many congratulations.